Hi doctor, I have this case ready for you to approve uh, with the goal of creating space on the lower arch to restore the lower anterior, uh, but the patient really wants to close the spaces. Um, so if you wanted to create more um, inner arch space, you would simply just need to increase the lower IPR um, and to possibly add more intrusion to the upper centrals. Um, but otherwise, or per, another option would be to redistribute some of the upper space distal to the upper canines. This is a ClinCheck that is set up to just close all of the spaces and leave a sufficient amount of overjet that I expect him to function well uh, without having a posterior open bite from an anterior interference. And that can happen if the uh, overjet was set too tight and there wasn't enough space for the teeth to interact with each other because the teeth clinically are always gonna finish a little bit differently than what we show on the ClinCheck. Um, so the first thing about a big spacing case is we want to make sure we have enough retention throughout the posterior, make sure that we're not moving the molars so those are anchor teeth, and then also maintain our anchorage with the optimized anchorage attachments. And these are attachments that are not meant to do any direct pushing, but um, uh, have something in the smart track of the aligner to keep the mesial aspects of these teeth back. Otherwise, when we do a large retraction, the molars tend to want to lean to the mesial to try to fit into this aligner that's getting uh, technically shorter from anterior to posterior. So by not moving these teeth, we're ensuring that we're getting better anchorage and more predictability with the upper anterior teeth. I always want to have optimized lateral support attachments on a spacing case because very rarely do I need to do extrusion. And then these attachments are meant to help guide these roots to come together so that these teeth are more vertical with each other at the end. And I even over treated this slightly. So you can see that the root is pointed to the distal. And if we were to just, I know that we're doing lingual retraction, but these teeth are coming to the mesial slightly. Without an attachment, this tooth is likely to take the path of least resistance and the crown to just tip to the mesial, accentuating what's already happening. Like the, you would end up with more of a black triangle right here and the root would be leaning far distal. So by adding these root control attachments that helps guide these teeth to the center, and I am trying to push that root over to the mesial so it doesn't end up with a black triangle. The IPR on the upper arch is what we would call fake IPR. So I do this in small increments and so you'd find at a liner 21 that if you floss here, the teeth are likely to not be in contact. And that's okay, you're gonna leave them right where it is, do not do the upper IPR, and just allow those teeth in the aligner to push them tighter together so they end up with a nice contact. If you do find that there is a contact, say like right here, you're gonna wanna put some topical anesthetic on and just do some really light IPR to relieve that gingival third interference. Looking at the uh, lower arch, these lower anterior teeth need to intrude quite a bit to level the curve of speed and also get out of the way of the upper teeth, um, the upper spaces being closed. You can see these tooth movement assessment warnings and that's from a larger intrusion movement, which shouldn't scare us as long as we have plenty of posterior retention, which is why I added an additional retention attachment on the first molar so that this aligner has a really good grip all the way through here and delivers that intrusion force most accurately. And then we have Dr. Galler's secret sauce, which is the lingual canine attachment to help with that intrusion. I added a minimum amount of IPR to finish with uh, the proper amount of overjet that I would feel comfortable with that wouldn't lead to a um, anterior interference. If you wanted to add more IPR, I think that is, uh, I think that's not a bad plan. In this area right here, you might find that you're doing fake IPR as well, like not performing the IPR. If these teeth are not in contact at a liner 21, then just uh, mark it off on your sheet as if you did it and just move along through the treatment. C-chain aligners are always here for when we're closing anterior spaces. Be sure to use those only one at a time. And if you wanted to delay the IPR per your request, you can submit this last request. I'm sorry I didn't have that initially. And then the next ClinCheck would be the one ready for you to approve. Let me know if you have any other questions.